Okay, so what is wireless audio? Well, basically you have a radio transmission between two devices, one a transmitter, and then secondly, you have a receiver. And both of these are on the same channel and they talk to each other transmitting audio waves through the air wirelessly. So in its bare essence, that is what wireless audio transmission really is, and it's usually advertised using lapel microphones. So basically these microphones that you clip to your shirt connect to a wireless transmitter and it goes directly to your camera where it's recording internally with the video of the footage. So you end up having a video clip with the audio and video connected, but the audio is actually recorded wirelessly, just transmitted through radio signals to your camera. Now in the past, I've actually done a few reviews on these wireless audio systems and they're all right, but the microphones aren't really that great on them. The lapel microphones sound a little bit muffled, not too great, but what's really great about these systems is actually the transmitter receiver combo. So it's not about the microphone, it's about the system and I'm gonna get into that. Basically, even today, all these different companies are still reaching out to me asking if I wanna review their wireless audio products, and I'm usually saying no now because I have a couple of them myself, but they all pretty much work the same and they're all getting really, really cheap, even though the microphones aren't the best. But like I said, it's not necessarily the microphones that come with it that are important, it's the system and how it works, which is really cool. So like I said, how these systems are usually advertised is that you have a transmitter, you plug in your lapel microphone to it, and then you have this wireless audio through here. But because this jack is pretty much universal with a lot of audio things, you can literally plug any other microphone into it. So let's say we have this little fuzzy guy right here, plug it in, this audio is now transmitted wirelessly. So that's the potential if you can see that. That means that this shotgun microphone can also be plugged in. Now this is a completely wireless setup. I can use it like an interview microphone, just talk to people, interview them, and all that audio is transmitting immediately to the camera. No need to sync it up in post. And I didn't really mention that, but that's the other great reason to have this wireless audio is that you don't have to mess with separate tracks in post when you're editing. So you don't have an audio track and a video track that you have to sync together and get the audio right on that video track. It's already in one package. So when you get into editing, it's really easy to get set. And then another really great thing about a lot of these wireless microphone systems is that they come with two transmitters, which means that you can have two different microphones independent or together connected to your receiver. And this means that you can set up a backup track in case one of your audio channels cuts out or it clips or something like that. You have a backup that's a lower level or something like that. And it also means you can be recording two different things completely independently, but also at the same time. So basically you can be recording two different people, but you can put one person on the left channel and one person on the right channel. So when you get into editing, you can control who's talking and whose audio you can actually hear. So one person's not talking over the other person, it just opens up so many opportunities. So obviously I know that I just went over that really, really quickly and you didn't get a grasp of how this actually works. So I'm gonna go out into the field now and show you some specific examples of what I'm talking about and how you can integrate these wireless audio systems into your videos to make it more seamless and better. And better, that didn't really sound as crispier, I guess. Better audio, cleaner, nicer. Yeah, okay, let's go. Okay, so as you can see in here, this is the most basic form of wireless audio that you would usually see. Basically, I just have a transmitter right here going to a lapel microphone on my shirt, transmitting directly to a receiver on top of my camera. And as you can hear, it sounds pretty good. It's a little bit muffled though because the microphone isn't the most high quality, but this is a really common use and it's the most commonly advertised use for this stuff because it really helps to hide the microphone and can record in distant locations like this really easily with the audio going directly into camera. But as I'm gonna show you right now, there are tons of more options you can do to utilize this and to adapt it to different microphones. Okay, so now we have a classic interview option where we have a interview style microphone. This is just a shotgun microphone, but basically it's just the same idea connected to this transmitter that is transmitting audio directly to that receiver on my camera wirelessly. Works super well. It works good in an interview. If you want to talk to someone, you can ask a question. It is a pretty good use and also just looks more professional in a sense, more newscasty, I guess. Um, but I used this in my video last week. I think it turned out pretty cool. And it's a cool stylistic look as well as just really practical option for recording audio. And again, it's really simple because the audio is directly saved inside of my camera, transmitted right to it, and I don't have to worry about syncing up the audio between these two locations. Okay, so things are starting to get a lot more complicated, but also a lot more useful. So basically what I've done in my receiver settings is I've changed it from mono to stereo, basically meaning that I now have two separate channels 
recording audio from different transmitters. So I have one transmitter here, let's say on the left channel, and then another transmitter here, let's say on the right channel. I'm not really sure which one is which, but if you're wearing headphones, you can very easily tell that there's a difference between these channels. They're split up, and basically what this allows you to do is edit them in post. So if you have two different people talking in a conversation, let's say there's an interview or something, you have two people talking independently, basically what this allows you to do is have both of their audio not only transmit directly into the camera together, but you can edit it separately in post. So you can mute someone out if you want. You can change one person's levels while leaving the other person the same. Just lots and lots of different options that allow you to get more creative and make better work. So I just think this is a great option. Of course, you can also change these microphones to something like lapel microphones, which is usually the more default option for this stuff. But obviously shotgun microphones also do the trick really well. Okay, so lastly, let's talk about safety audio tracks, which I personally think is the most overlooked opportunity for these wireless audio systems. Now, safety audio tracks are a really common thing to have. Basically, what it means is that you have two audio tracks recording simultaneously. So if you talk really, really loud in one of them and it clips it out, the other one won't be clipped out and you can just switch that channel to save your audio. So it's a really nice thing to have because there's nothing worse than having clipped out ruined audio in your project. So it's really easy to do with this microphone transmitter system. All you have to have is two different microphones. So right now, as you can see in this specific scenario, I have that traditional kind of interview style microphone attached to a transmitter. And I also have a lapel microphone sitting right here, also going to a transmitter, both going directly to the transceiver. So they're both going into different channels like I had before into my camera, but they're both being recorded at the same time at slightly different volume levels. So if one goes too loud, the other one will still Still be audible. And I'm just showing you one specific shotgun mic lapel microphone combination. You can also do it with, say, two shotgun microphones if you're doing an interview, basically just having two shotgun microphones off camera, but one of them set at a slightly lower level. So if the person talks too loud, like they get really, really loud in the microphone and it doesn't sound great in the first channel, you can always cut back to the second one. You always have that opportunity. And again, they're always saved into the camera, so you can really easily switch it in editing. No need to sync up all of that footage and audio and post and to really get it synced up nicely, it's already good to go. The same idea would also work with two lapel microphones. So basically you could just have two lapel microphones connected to someone, two transmitters going to the receiver and it would work equally as good as having a shotgun microphone and a lapel microphone. So just a lot of different opportunities and options you can have to creating that good reliable audio in any situation and you don't have to count on that original lapel microphone that comes with this transmission package. So I think the most important thing to take away from this video is not that you wanna look for necessarily a good lapel microphone in these transmission transmission packages, but the most important part is that the transmitter and the receiver work really well, and in most cases, like almost all of the cheap packages, it still works really, really well, really good radio transmission in pretty much all the settings, regardless of the price. So again, that's the most important part, and you can really adapt these systems to make it work for your needs. So I know this video was obviously pretty audio centric and I would not call myself an audio expert by any regard, but I just thought this was an important feature that a lot of people weren't touching on in videos when talking about wireless audio. And I think it's a really good thing to know about because it just gives you so many more possibilities when it comes to audio and making sure it sounds good. But anyway, that's basically it for this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up down below. It really helps out a lot. And thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time.